Who am I speaking to? Emmanuel Garcia, I'm a political science and chemistry double major. And my question is for the ASU and president, how are you going to promote diversity on this campus? We are predominantly, okay, we're not right there. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I have always had diversity as a priority. Um, I've been a member of Land of Five Multicultural Story for three years, and I've served as a multicultural Greek council secretary for three semesters as well. Um, and I was a diversity commissioner under uh, then President and Vice President Michael Cabrera. So um, I will always continue to have diversity on my mind, uh, meeting with administrators and letting them know what the numbers are, letting them know that we're 16% under on Hispanic enrollment. We're 8% under on African American enrollment, um, and those numbers are really heavy, um, especially for young women. Um, I helped uh, Karen uh, Shimanga start a club called Dream World, which includes underrepresented women from high school and educated expenses to Sparks High School in the Queen. And I think that's one of the ways in which I can help is uh, get other students who want to be involved in that, start clubs and initiatives, and uh, continue to play a role in the new uh, Department of Diversity, so they'll work with their director. There's no reason why. Even though it's not a duty of the vice president anymore, um, people can't just take initiative and reach out either way. So um, I definitely will still make diversity a high priority if the elected vice president. Ms. Sadie Kilda? Diversity is definitely important to me as well. Um, I would continue to um, take initiatives if elected vice president. I will work with the center and get um, students to be able to graduate in four to five years, like I talked about earlier, getting our retention rates higher, not just for um, your traditional students, but for every every student, because every student is diverse. Um, also, I would continue and meet with the director of um, diversity and kind of talk about ideas I have and kind of maybe brainstorm with that, because I still think diversity is very important. Mr. Chavez? Regardless of the, where the duties fall on the vice president and everything, I feel like Charlie did an amazing job setting up the section off way to do a new commission. I want to do as much as I can to continue that, even though it's outside of my duties too. But I believe that diversity doesn't just, you know, encompass just a different race or a different like, ethnicity. I believe it. It's different beliefs. So, I mean, different colleges, you know, there's journalism week, there's engineering week. I mean, every college should have a week. There should be a site week, a criminal justice week. It should be branched out to different ideas, not just different races. And ethnicity, it's a different belief, you know, that's what diversity is. So. Ms. Diaz, your 30 second response. Yeah, I, I could definitely agree with that diversity, which is so many things. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we changed the diversity commission name to the community commission, because um, even the, the new department is called the Department of Campus Community, because we want it to see, you know, everyone should feel like they're part of that. So when you hear the word community, you should feel a part of it. So um, that could reach so many different things. Um, one of the ideas we have is having a multicultural conference in the fall. Um, I know we had a conference on last Saturday, which had a lot of um, diversity workshops. So I think that's one of the good ways to start. It's just like have programming yes, issues. for Ms. Sadie Colburn. Um, diversity just encompasses a, a wide range, like um, my opponent said as well. Um, every single student is different. Every single student is diverse. There is no one student that is exactly the same as somebody else. And um, I think it's just important to continue initiatives. Every single person needs to take the initiative um, and just continue promoting diversity and getting our graduation rates high. Your response, Mr. Chandler? Initially, I know there's a lot of worry and with how diversity and everything, there's the different weeks, there's different diversity weeks, there's different celebrations, you know, exhibit the diversity with organizations. And there's a lot of worry that with the budget cut and everything, that's going to be eradicated from being possible on campus and everything. I believe that that shouldn't happen that shouldn't you know be acceptable at all because diversity is it shouldn't be a budgetary thing fall on budgetary monetary gain or monetary you know approval it should be you're diverse and everything it should be you should be able to celebrate it and just throw the weeks out there and do the organization yeah we didn't get to do this at the beginning of the debate but i think we should give each candidate one minute to, to, to present their platform before we go into the presidents so let's start that with Ms. Diaz. We have one minute to present the platform. Thank you. Um, initially, my first point was focusing on diversity, but like I said, since that's been cut from the previous time, it'll still be a priority, but um, I won't be the head of the new division. So um, the second thing on my platform is definitely to uh, unify the pack, which is my slogan, because the ASUN is 
vice president as a liaison to the ASUM Senate um, and also to the ASUN student publications. So if everyone kind of knows what's going on within ASUN, and that's like the job of the vice president to be the glue between all those entities, then there won't be things like uh, miscommunications, like uh, for example, uh, if Joint Vision 2017 would have had more communication, then people would have felt more a part of it. Everyone would have felt like they had a say in it, and it was truly the Joint Vision of ASUN. Um, or at the same time, we try to duplicate um, PR for some events, or we don't know where to go for things like that. So if there really is good communication throughout the, the associated students, then we can have more focused things and people, people know what's going on. And um, the most important thing... Let's, let's do that question then. Now it's Ms. Sadie Kovic trying to present her platform. Uh, my problem consists of two main points, unity and transparency. Within unity, I want to ensure that every single student has enough resources to succeed at Nevada, not only as an incoming freshman, but continually and graduate within a four to five years and um, have enough resources to graduate in that timely manner. And my second point is being transparency. I want to have um, a blog where students will be able to post their questions, comments, concerns, anything regarding student life, ACUN, budget cuts, anything that concerns them so I can better communicate with the students and kind of know where students are coming from. And also, um, I am going to send out a newsletter like I previously stated where um, it will be titled Office of the Vice President. Every single student will know exactly what I'm doing. Um, and we want to be on the same page. Mr. Child, your platform. Um, out of the three points and everything that my platform is based off of, I believe there's a perpetual theme that spreads through all three, and that's collaboration. Uh, the first one, I want to work to, uh, to prevent as much of the budget shortfall from oppressing the academic advancement streets. Last, uh, the last budget cuts, there was a lot of resources that got cut that didn't necessarily need to be cut, I believe. It could have been looked at a different way and everything and approached in a different way with different cuts being made. Secondly, I want to fortify the voice that's actually heard within the administration. This university would not run without students, but it would not run without the administration. I believe we're both equally important, and therefore we should have an equal amount of say in decisions that are made, especially concerning our education and the direction that we go in our future. Lastly, uh, I want to work to in advance the involvement of the diverse organizations into a more significant component of issue. There's been a great job done so far with the Unity Commission, the Sexual Health League, and all the advancements that we've made, and I want to continue on that footstep and in those building blocks to form that into a more significant plan. That, that concludes the Vice Presidential uh, Debate. Thank <laughs> you. 